Hi guys, this is a video for Faro0485 and uh, Ahmed Daz uh, 96001. Okay, I'm arguing with you both simultaneously on two different videos about exactly the same issue, which is, uh, is a nine-year-old uh, mature enough to uh, for someone to marry and have sex with? Because uh, we're obviously arguing over the Aisha issue, just in case anyone uh, doesn't know. We're arguing over the Aisha issue, which was a uh, uh, majority opinion or, uh, you know, sizable opinion, is that... Um, uh, the Prophet Muhammad um, married and had uh, married her at six and consummated the marriage when she was nine years old. Okay, my point basically is this: you both need to look into psychological studies, neurological studies, and biological studies into is uh, into adolescent development. I'm sure you'll come to the conclusion that isn't until the late teens. If you look into this, isn't until the late teens that a human being is significantly mature. Actual maturation, actual growth, neurological growth doesn't actually stop till early 20s, according to some studies. Actual early 20s. But a significant growth, a significant maturation on a psychological, neurological and biological level happens late teens. A nine-year-old is not mature enough to, for someone to marry and have sex with on any level. I'm sure if you look into this, you, you will come to the same conclusion. If you disagree with me, please... Cite the psychological studies or whatever it is that leads you to this conclusion. But, come on guys, it's a nine-year-old. You both refuse to answer the question, would you marry and have sex with a nine-year-old? Or would you let someone marry and have sex with your nine-year-old sibling or relative? You both refuse to answer that question. For obviously you don't want to be called pedophiles or, you, you know, etc. Which is understandable. I I think that's perfectly understandable but you have to answer the question if why won't you answer that question why is it okay for Muhammad to have sex with a nine-year-old and for you not to question it okay another point is that uh, what you guys are claiming is that back 1400 years ago women were basically only cooked and cleaned and stayed in the house so uh, it was fine to this seems to be the argument is that it's fine to have sex with a nine-year-old because man has sex with a nine-year-old because that's all they did so they, they didn't do anything significant now basically what you're saying is like uh, because of the patriarchal society that existed 1400 years ago in Arabia or anywhere else um, well not not everywhere women were reared in some cultures um, basically what you're saying is because they were oppressed then it made it okay f for someone to marry and have sex with a nine-year-old but because of um, uh, equal rights and uh, you know uh, uh, the emancipation of women nowadays because women are more uh, mature uh, well uh, more psychologically diverse which seems to be your argument that because they're more psychologically diverse and they have uh, uh, careers and uh, you know and and they're able to express their thoughts and th feelings openly because of that now it's not okay to have sex with nine-year-olds i'm not sure if that's your argument but i don't know why you guys are bringing up um the idea that uh you know because um 1400 years ago that uh you know the women only used to do household chores um, which is arguable women only used to do household chores and didn't used to you know contribute to society that it makes it okay to have sex with a nine-year-old I don't see how those two correlate. Um, you know, I've, I've read into this before with Neil Postman and the other people that childhood actually, the concept of childhood didn't actually come about until I think uh, the printing press, which was about, what, the 16th century? I, um, I apologize if my, uh, my, date, my timeline's wrong. And then childhood became a big issue. People started realizing it. Simply because society has moved on doesn't make it, uh, do, just simply because society has changed doesn't mean that... Um, new studies uh, into neurology and psychology and so and uh, sorry and biology doesn't uh, it doesn't negate that St uh, studies have shown in modern day that a person isn't mature significantly until late teens regardless if culturally we didn't recognize uh, childhood until maybe the, uh, the invention of the printing press which I think as I said again was around 15th 16th century uh, simply because we didn't maybe culturally majority of us didn't recognize childhood or religion only said that childhood uh, occurred on with the onset of puberty uh, doesn't make it right so a lot of studies have shown and I'm sure most people agree and the reason why uh, British uh, well not British not just British society but many governments around the world have, have changed the uh, um, not all, but many of them have changed the um, age of consent for sexual intercourse uh, into the late teens. The reason for that is because of new studies. New studies have shown this, that the person isn't significantly mature until late teens. So, you know, if you guys can, you know, please just look at the studies and just come back to me if, if you find, uh, you know what I mean, if you find significant studies, significant amount of studies that show that no, a person is mature neurologically, biologically, and psychologically. 
by nine years old, then you know, please come back to me and please make a video showing everyone. Okay, okay, so take care, guys.